Wait here. You don't need to talk to that idiot steward. I'll go get the master of the arena. A fat, heavily tattooed demon stares at you curiously. Welcome to the battle, Bliss, stranger. Who did you bring me, Yaz? This mortal looks impressive. He could fight the bloody freak or maybe in the Flayer Twins. Have you ever thought about a career as a gladiator? I could. Yaz interrupts the arena master dismissively. Stop babbling, Amrangaleth. We came here on business and we don't have much time. Answer his questions and then piss off before you piss me off. What is this place? This is the Battle Bliss, the greatest gladiatorial arena in the Abyss. Countless fighters have fallen here, and they are no words to describe the rapture that grips the hearts of the spectators in the stands. This place is a recreational slaughterhouse. Can I participate in the fights? Yaz raises a hand, silencing the Cambion before he has a chance to reply. Out of the question. Lady Nocticola's orders were to keep you safe. Fights in the arena, especially the dirty and unpredictable ones that happen here at the Battle Bliss, are definitely not on the safe entertainment list. Better go and buy yourself some sweet nuts, Galarian. Actually, Naticola didn't say anything about keeping you out of the arena. If you, in your right mind and of your own free will, want to cut a few throats to please a crowd, who am I to stand in your way? I could stop you, but I won't. I'll just kill anyone willing to fight against you in the arena before you can even draw your weapon. And where would be the fun in that? Ah, I can see from your eyes that you understand what I'm getting at. No gladiator fights for you today. Who are you? Yaz frowns, clearly bored. And Mangalef, don't even think of singing your songs about the battle bliss and the thrill of fights that stir the blood and excite the senses. I've heard them all a hundred times. You're just an ordinary slave owner with a flair for the dramatic, as crooked as they come, and your slaves slaughter one another for the amusement of the slavering masses. Our Mangalef gives you a disarming smile and throws up his hands. Oh, my reputation. Everyone knows me. Thank you, Yas. I couldn't have put it any better myself. I'm looking for information about a Relu Vorlesh. The demon gives you a sideways glance and smirks. I might know Lady Vorlesh. We might even be friends. But should I talk about my friends to anyone who asks? Now, it'd be different if we were friends. You know, you're in luck. Today, the price of my friendship isn't high. I just need a favor. Go to my gladiators, check to make sure they're all all right, and see if they need anything. I usually have a specially trained lackey who does this for me, but he was recently torn to pieces because he was too slow. The Cambion's impudent smirk awakens something dark and wild within you. Does he seriously think he can make you his errand boy? The gall. Mm, requires demon mythic path. Unleash the storm that rages within your heart and crush the unfortunate demon who provoked your fury. Surprised by your furious outburst, Yaz pulls her manga left aside. With a few harsh words of warning, he quickly extinguishes the flicker of morbid curiosity burning in the arena master's eyes. Armangalef, enough. There's no reason to be difficult. Don't make me kick your ass and knock your teeth out to get the truth. A mixture of fear and curiosity flickers in Armangalef's eyes. Licking his lips, he inquires politely. Don't take this as a provocation. It is simply to satisfy my curiosity. But are you really as menacing in battle as you appear to be? Or is it just bravado? If I offered my story to you in exchange for a victory in the arena, would you agree to fight? Or are you too scared, mortal? Intimidate. My patience runs thin. Tell me the truth, you bloated piece of filth, or you'll regret it. That made me shiver. Not bad. You could definitely do well in a Lucianaire. Fine, listen up, you formidable but impatient mortal. Lady Vorlesh has attended the arena, and a special place is always reserved for her in the Battle Bliss top box. As a reward for my courtesy, she gave me a ring that guarantees a favor from her in the future. 
The demon proudly shows you a massive golden signet ring, but its surface is completely smooth. Without hesitation, the Cambion puts his finger in his mouth and bites it, letting a drop of blood fall onto the ring. Instantly, a glowing symbol appears. It resembles a horned insect with double mandibles and a pair of ragged wings. This is her personal mark, like a signature. She leaves it wherever she goes, but it remains invisible until it is revealed with a drop of blood. There's a mocking glint in the Cambion's eyes. Unfortunately, these days, or rather months, well, actually, these last few years, she doesn't often grace us with her presence, but you should show up anyway. Who knows? Fortune may smile upon you. You already know that Aurelie Vorlish used to live in Nocticulous Palace, and now you know how to reveal her invisible signature. Armed with this new knowledge, you can search the palace. It might give you additional evidence that brings you closer to your goal. Wonderful. I think you've realized, mortal, that it's useless to take offense at this madman. I suggest you attend to your affairs and forget about this fool. Attack, Mangalef. Only blood will wash away your insolence. Armangalef instantly disappears, and the sound of his mad, cackling laughter rolls out across the battle bliss. The cameo's voice thunders out as the audience quickly flees from the now dangerous arena. Run for your lives! A bloody spectacle has drawn an arena against a madness, and now he wants your blood! Casting an irritated glance at the guards as they clutch their weapons, Yaz mutters through gritted teeth. Galarian, you, you're worse than a child, I swear. Cut them, run them through. <laughs> Yaz forces a smile. I'm at your service. Where would you like to go? To Nocticula's palace.